how is the going guys mutemoya back again with another video so guys in today's video i'll show you the easiest and most simple way of doing frequency separation because i feel uh, uh most tutorials right here in uh on youtube are actually very complicated and they try to make uh frequency separation look actually very hard and in today's video i'll just show you the easiest way of doing frequency separation mostly on a 16 bit image so guys let's get into this video so what we'll do i'll duplicate my layers twice so Control j twice let's rename this color let's rename this texture okay so what i'll do i'll uh, disable the texture layer then go to color go to filter blur Gaussian blur and let's give this a value of uh, just zoom out. I guess this is the most um, uh, text textured area in our image. So let's give it a value of let's say five and then that's okay. And then go to image, go to texture, image, apply image. And then what I'll do just select on the color layer. Uh, change the blending mode to add and select invert scale to offset of zero and say okay change the blending mode to linear light then create a black and white layer on top of this okay i get that's okay i'll just uh let me reset my workspace to photography okay now i can see the navigator up here helps me to zoom sometimes just remove push yeah i guess that's okay okay now let me remove a few layers right here yeah i guess with this now we're good you can see our image uh when you combine these two when you combine uh the color and the texture you get back our image when you disable the color you get so much texture on your image but when you enable the color you get a subtle image that is these two layers right here the texture and the color make our background image because if we can put all this in a group and disable it you still remain in the original image there's nothing much that has happened in our image so what i'll do i'll go to my brushes and pick my mixer brush select on the color layer then Witness 10, uh, load 75, mix 90, and flow 100. And make sure it's a clean brush and it cleans after every stroke. And then just don't zoom in your image. Just zoom in slight. No, just don't zoom in your image. Then enable the black and white and let's start brushing. Uh, disable the texture layer and let's just make sure you brush how your image flows. Or how the model's face is moving so gosh. you can see how i'm brushing i'm just trying to make this as easy as possible because um i've been i've seen so many complicated tutorials on youtube and sometimes i also make so long tutorials and I just feel I it's easy to do frequency separation just that we try to just perfect our images but frequency separation is actually not so hard let's disable the black and white and see if guys you can see how it looks because we have actually blood let me zoom in because I want to identify some parts where I feel I need to make them look amazing and guys remember i didn't re even remove blemishes on this particular image i just removed blemishes immediately i'm done with the uh, frequency separation so reason i zoomed i just want to perfect on some small details but if i could just say, you can see how it looks i haven't enabled the texture layer if i enable the text you can see it's just so easy before after before after that's how easy it is to do frequency separation 
it's extremely very easy so let me just continue let's, let's disable the text earlier continue zoom out slightly select just brush on this area like this the more plastic it looks and the more the perfect your frequency separation will look so that's all that yes i feel this already looks okay disable the black and white and i feel this looking nice any perfection i'll do it in a few then enable the texture layer and you can see you have yeah a fully retouched image and that's all so what i'll do i'll just go to my here and pick my lasso tool then let's draw draw let's start with this area like this just draw it like this go to filter blur Gaussian blur and remember the value we used was 5 so just multiply this by 3 and write 15 and say okay then go to this area right here like this here and draw it perfectly you don't want to I guess remember your feathering should be between 18 upwards not lower than that but mostly I use 18 22 depending on how sharp is my image and the perfecting is mostly done on the face not on every single part of the body because mostly when you shoot you might you just end up mostly getting more details on the face compared to the other parts of your model's body on the nose i won't really apply so much blur just want to leave it as natural as possible so give it something like just blur and just give it a very low value something like that yes i like that and then on these eyes right here no much no i won't do much no i think i missed that just draw yes perfect filter blur gaussian blur then on this other part right here filter blur gaussian blur uh, if I could before and after you can see I have the textures on the model skin I did even the skin tone because the main uh, aim for this video specifically was uh, to do uh, frequency separation and I just wanted to show you how easy it is to do frequency separation guys it's so easy and yeah the next thing I'll do I'll pick the texture layer and then go to my select uh, the clone stamp tool and just let's remove this prominent blemishes right here to just make our image uh, sample press alt and sample sample and paste it's that easy yep just trying to perfect this to just make our image look amazing Make sure you, the, the brush is slightly bigger than the blemish you're removing. Just this is how easy it is to do frequency separation and remain with the right texture on your model's face. Don't make your images look plastic because they don't look nice i know sometimes all your clients will tell you the photos look flawless yeah but they don't look natural that's what i can tell you just always make sure you make your images look as natural as possible the idea is just removing the blemishes and balancing or evening the skin tone yep I don't know what i just pick let me see if i draw this or it will move no it won't move i just don't know i'll just see what i can do for on that later i 
I guess that's all. Nothing much on this specifically. I'll just I'm trying to perfect this. And I like how the textures look on this model skin. Just have the perfect textures and I don't want to remove them. I think I'll leave them at that point. And that's all. That's how easy you can do frequent separation on this image. And to just perfect everything, I'll just do... Let me finish up. The, I also do some color grading on this image. Let me create Control, control Shift, Alt, and E to create a new match layer. And then just um, draw this to see if I can drag this slightly. Yes, that's okay. I'll just come here to my... Uh, extension and dodge and cut band caps easy yes awesome so just select on the dodge then pick my brush and flow at let's say 12 let me just brush to this part of the model skin here specifically like that yes see if i balanced the lighting yes i i think the light is well balanced there and yep the next thing i'll do i'll uh, go to my uh, actions and then run the global i won't do the curves i just run the global dodge band i won't create the layers so just run my action then create a black and white layer on top of this and just select on the dodge then let's run this paint that area i'll just reduce the opacity and let me paint this uh burn on this area right here then on the dodge just paint these specific areas like this this area like that this area like this just delete the black and white and see how much you have done there and just reduce the opacity of this to make it as low as possible guess that that's okay 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 so what i'll do i'll just uh create a new uh stamp layer there i just go to my color lookup i just run my uh this lat here lat four And you can see how it looks. And then again, go to my color lookup. Load. Then go to my LUTs right here. The five premier. Then select on the skin LUT three to just give this model a melanin skin tone. Yeah, there we go. We have a melanin skin tone perfectly. Use it slightly like that. Awesome. Then uh, pick your brush tool. Make sure the fog foreground color is black. And then just increase the flow and paint it on this uh, wrap, head wrap, because we didn't really want the melanin to be on the wrap. We just want it on the skin. Yeah, like that. Perfect. Okay, you can can also remove it from the lips and also some no i think the eyes are okay with it yes like that it's so easy to do frequency separation and easily to retouch your image just yeah, that's okay uh just liquefy let's liquefy this image on the mostly on the This area right here to just make it look more balanced. <sighs> like that. Just want to make it look very nice. 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 Okay. Just need to straighten the background. Just select your subject. I guess I like that. So what I'll do, I'll uh, 
create a layer mask, then create an empty layer there, then go to gradient, then select the background color. Let's say if it's white and this other side, I select if it's white there. Just drag it like that and you have a straight background. Put all this in a group. Yeah, so like that and guys we have a nice balanced melanin image and it's very easy to do frequency separation. It's really so easy. That's what I wanted to show you guys and <sighs> see you in the next video. Peace out. I haven't whitened the eyes. Let me just whiten the eyes just for this image one last time. Eye and teeth whitening. Just run and just paint it on some parts. This, yeah, I like that. And that's all. That, that's how easy it is to just retouch your image fast in Photoshop. See you in the next video.